Well, Charlie cards and Charlie tickets will eventually be replaced by new technology, things like mobile payment options, Apple Pay. The goal is a quicker commute. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank Late this afternoon, much. unanimous approval by the T's Fiscal and Management um, Control Board of a new fare collection system that promises to expedite your journey on buses and the Green Line. I think we've predicted up to a 10% speed improvement on our buses for this. This isn't just a big step for this agency, this is a big step for the Commonwealth. The board approved a $723 million contract as its first public-private partnership. The money will be split almost evenly between capital improvement and normal operating expenses. The new modern fare collection system will eventually eliminate the current iteration of Charlie cards and tickets. Payment will be accepted by new fare cards, contactless credit cards, or mobile devices. A lot of people also are worried about security with all the computer hacking. Louise Baxter voiced her concerns during the public comment period. Although the new system means no cash will be accepted on board, the T emphasizes this is not a cashless system. Cash will still be accepted at fair vending machines, at stations, and busy bus stops. The best fare collection system that we can possibly offer is one that gets out of our riders' way, one that doesn't make them take more time to get on and off the vehicles. And that's really what we're doing here, is we're making a system that makes sure that our buses and Green Line vehicles especially can move faster. You'll start seeing some of the new equipment by 2019. As for the Charlie tickets, Charlie cards, those will be completely phased out by 2021. Reporting live from the Transportation Building, Todd Keskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5. Good